Hey guys. hey guys, this is Angie from Ukraine and this is Daniel from Philippines and we are the international couple. Yep, thank you guys so much for your support, for your comments, for your love and everything we've seen. Oh my goodness. All those things under our previous videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, we haven't expected that much support from all of you. We've been so much grateful for you from all supporting my Tobias. us. <laughs> yes, and all of <laughs> for, us. Yes, from the subscription and from the likes and the follows, this is uh, overwhelming. Yeah, that's incredible. We we haven't expect that one at all. <laughs> or imagine. So today we prepared for you some kind of interesting topic. Um, from my side, I've been hearing some stories about Philippines or some stereotypes. You know, I've been hearing from TV or. It's all true. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know yet. <laughs> So I'm going to share it with Daniel and either he will say, yeah, this is actually true or he will say, no, this is just stereotype and it's not like this and, and he will explain me how it is looks like in real life. And I need your help, guys, because uh, I haven't been in the Philippines for some quite time now. So I don't know if this is still real or not. So uh, please comment down if it's real or not. Don't judge him so hard. I've already seen that um, <laughs> The video about the words you can check there about Filipino uh, Tagalog words that uh, we've been I've been trying to I know those. Yeah, but the comments say that it was wrong spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Is he true Filipino? I am. Let's see. All right, so let's start it. The first thing what I'm imagining about Philippines mm -hmm. when I'm hearing the word Philippines or country is like. Everyone there lives near the beach, so your morning started with going to swim in the sea, <laughs> to get a coconut, and there is a palm tree, you will lay down under the palm tree, and your life is like chill, relaxed, and yeah, that's what I hear when, ah, I mean, that's what I imagine when I'm here in the Philippines, but I've noticed that some people from Philippines, they don't know how to swim, so I was like, Wait, 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 so you're going every day to the beach in my mind, yeah? And you don't know how to swim, so probably I'm guessing this is a stereotype. Yeah, yes, in a way, because I know Philippines is uh, like surrounded by the sea yeah. and the oceans. However, there are some islands that in the middle where are the cities and uh, it's not like if you're from Philippines, you should know how to swim. And some of, like my clients, living in the country, like in the state or in the city where it's jungle of uh, buildings. So you cannot just say that all of us should know how to swim because it's not true. However, it is useful. <laughs> To know how to swim, <laughs> it's like useful to know how to drive. Because <laughs> I was just really surprised like, when one of my colleagues told me that she doesn't know how to swim and I was like, wow, but how come if your country is surrounded by water? She's like, yeah, but I'm not living near the beach. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> In my mind, it's like everyone has no. a house, beautiful house on the beach, you know, with this coconut Ooh, palm trees that's and so, so nice. on. Yeah, living, but probably I've been just watching some pictures of Palawan and Boracay. Boracay yeah, yes. and that's from where I got this stereotype. It's so nice to be there. So that is not really true. Yeah. So. All right, what to do? Now I know. <laughs> Another one. Um, we are having here many friends from Philippines and colleagues and Daniel. So what I've noticed that people from Philippines, they are always forever positive. They're always smiling, they're always happy. Oh my goodness, I'm going wrong side or what? And I've never <laughs> seen any Filipino, at least on the public, being sad or mad or angry. So I just don't understand. Is it really like a happiness in your genes? <laughs> or how does it work? Let's, let's say it's true. Uh, let me know if I'm correct, guys. Uh, Filipino people, 
like they're trying to face the problems with a smile mm. and uh, as much as possible like it's a problem already and you don't need to to make it worse yeah you should think the solution but worrying and making your frown faces will not give any solution I'm always thinking of <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have this um, lo not logo. What do you call it? Uh, like a trademark. Oh, okay. It's more fun in the Philippines. Oops. Just because uh, there's a lot of tourists um, places. Also, the people will uh, treat you with happy faces, even though. We have some personal problems, but we keep trying to put the smile on. That's amazing that angry you guys. For me, it's so hard to keep it, you know, positive and inside I'm boiling. And actually this logo or the trademark, I read it in the comments under one of our videos. Someone already wrote that one. Really? I remember this, yes. We should shout out that, that, <laughs> that but person. Isn't it Hard, like when you really have a bad day and then you still need to show up happiness for example at work how do you make yourself to show other people that you're happy everything is fine if you actually inside you don't feel uh, that's um, how they can say uh, it's matter of how you think mm -hmm. so we try to be always positive not in Corona, but <laughs> we always anymore. keep one thing <laughs> thinking <laughs> how to to cope up with the problem. Yeah, but you will still, even though you have some bad feelings inside, you will still show positive. Yeah, you can. That's how you grow. Mm, that's how you mm, learn. Personally, I'm doing it, and most of the Filipinos doing yeah, it too. Yeah, so that's true. So then, what I've noticed that's actually like how it is. It's, it's real. Correct! <laughs> Carry on! So, the other thing what I spotted that every Filipino or Filipina are very religion. Like, into religion. Yes. I don't know, is it the only people I've been surrounded with? Or it's like a whole nation of Philippines? Uh, but yeah, that's what I've noticed. Because not, not every time in Ukraine we're going to church every day and not even every week, and not even every month, like I'll be honest with you, but I've noticed that Filipinos are really into church, they are really into God. If they have opportunity to go to the church every Sunday, they will do it, they'll bring their family, they'll bring their friends, they will make their church mates of friends, they will uh, ask them to come for their weddings, like it's really part of the family. And I was just wondering, is it only here where we live in, we have this surrounding, or it's in Philippines, like you've been raised with this culture of religion, going to the church and... Uh, okay, so for this stand, uh, I'm not sure for the Philippines. Uh, but for my family, uh, I grew up with uh, every Sunday, we're going to church. And this is like part of our tradition, mm -hmm. especially in my family. So we always always going to the church this is always also for family bonding and uh, it's nice to socialize with people from you know outside of your family then get to know them of course with the, with the God you know so it's actually having the knowledge it's fun to to share your faith with other people and yeah, this is for my for my family. This is real. So guys, please share with us if you're also into religion. If you're from Philippines, if you're like Daniel's family, or maybe it's not like this. Because in this <laughs> case, he cannot really tell me that the things what I've noticed or it's actually true. Because for Daniel, it's in his family, but he doesn't know about others. I'm not sure. Yeah. For all Filipino. <laughs> Not all, but maybe mostly. But mostly, yeah. Because, so uh, as far as I know, 
we are colonized by Spanish mm -hmm. and they introduced their their um, con country's religion the, the that religion and we intend to uh, implement it till days yeah so I think it's it's true all right <laughs> so <laughs> the other one sorry <laughs> You have a note there? Of course! <laughs> the other thing what I've been hearing all around my Filipino friends and Daniel as well that life in the Philippines is very cheap in terms of buying things So it's like if you have $100 you can eat a whole month for this money you can um, live nicely if you have for example I don't know $1,000 salary you can have a best life there in the Philippines <laughs> So I'm just thinking, is it really that like the the things are that cheap that you can really afford many things with the with the not that much, not that big salary, but in Philippines you can afford a lot of things. Is that it true? You know, Kabayans, uh, it's better for her to experience <laughs> for herself, right? Ask her to go to our country. Yeah, guys, she but will experience please it. check the price of tickets first. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've been checking at it a lot. Right now, that's a lot of money to go to Philippines. <laughs> because I think the pandemic is still hitting airlines. Yeah. But yeah, definitely we will go there one day 100%. You will enjoy it. I know. You will go to paradise. So, should I bring with myself a lot of money or just. <laughs> it depends how big a spender you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I should know, is it like a stereotype that everything is cheap or it's not? Everything is true. Everything is cheap if you compare the the currency. Our currency mm -hmm. is very cheap to other country. Mm -hmm. Like all Asian countries, not all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> some of Korea, <laughs> I don't think so. Japan. Japan, yeah. So yeah, most uh, Asian countries like Thailand. Um, it's very affordable. Yes, Vietnam. If you want vacation, you want island hopping, you want a beach, you want mountains, you can go to my country. Vietnam, Thailand. I will the go best to country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. I'll That's a lot, hard. eh? Ah, I still have a few left. All right, the other things that I have been spotted that people who were growing in Philippines, they are very into a Western, which is uh, mostly American culture. Like uh, you listen American songs, you, uh, you have a lot of American brands, American restaurants, uh, American food, mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. So you watch American movies, you've been growing with this, cartoons and everything is all about American culture. Yes. Is that true? Was it really like a big thing? Yes, I, I, I could say yes. And as you know, also, America colonized our country. Okay. So they Makes introduced sense. also their culture, and uh, everything that they're doing, we're trying to copy it. Mm. But uh, I noticed um, Filipino teenagers and kids nowadays are into Korean. Oh wow, I was just about to ask, like what about South Korea? K-pop. Mm. So before American, now I think it, it's starting to grow fans from Korea because okay. of the K-pop. I don't know if it's real, but I, I'm noticing it. Because when I was asking Daniel for like, you know, some old songs, maybe 10 years ago, I was like, do you know this song? It's uh, very popular in Europe. He was no. like, no, I don't know. I was like, how come it was so popular at that time? He's like, no, if it's from Europe, we don't really know those songs. Those Except for uh, Enrique maybe Iglesias, um, who are those? Adele. Yeah, British, mostly British. Yes. Because they're also popular in the US. And uh, what's that? Justin Bieber and who's the other one? It's very the number one song before. Ed Sheeran. In Billboard. No, 
with the with despacito. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not even sure if that guy That's, from Europe. Really? Might it's be Sp Spanish, right? Oh, hi. All Mexico speaks Spanish. Oh yeah. And the many countries in uh, South America. <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> Guys, please tell us where it's from the song singer who sings Despacito. Because we have a... It's... No, I'm pretty sure it's not Spanish. But... I feel we'll ashamed because... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So, basically, it's true. Yeah. In the... You know, in, in Philippines, we are so into basketball. Mm. Basketball is like I don't think it's Korean sport. <laughs> no, this is American sport. So we're very, very fan of the game. That's so. true. That's a twenty four seven. We are having here watching basketball. Not me, but this young guy is always watching basketball forever and ever. <laughs> Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, everything is commenting all these basketball games. Oh my goodness! You don't have to say it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and the last for today, but not the least. Also, what I've noticed with Daniel, with his friends, with the, my friends, my colleagues, that most of the Filipino men, to sing, no? they know how to cook, they know how to take care of the house, and they know how to take care of kids. <coughs> so why I'm pointing this one, could you please be serious? <laughs> Why I'm pointing this? Because when I was growing up in Ukraine, especially the previous generation, like my generation is getting better, I'll explain what happened, but the previous generation was learned that, okay, man is working and woman is taking care of kids and household, but the changes, what happened with the time, was showing us that the woman also started to work, but the things, the household was still stick to woman in Ukraine. However, it's changing right now in my country, like many men are understanding that mm, Okay, you can also raise the kids and you can also cook, you're also same human You can do everything, it's not, it's not only women supposed to do household But what I've noticed in Filipino, it was like that already for many years probably That they were growing, or, I don't know, or you were just deciding by yourself that you can be responsible for everything what women can be responsible in the house. <laughs> so I don't know, is They're... it like everyone in your country like this? Or most? Or yes. Is it like, for example, your I could say yes. father, your uncle, they were also like this? Yeah. They know how to cook, they can mm. cook by themselves. Of course. Uh, I'll show one thing that uh, a Filipino will, uh, will agree the reason of why you need to to know how to clean to clean your house to make up your bed it's because if your parents came home and noticed that the house is a mess I believe you will get this or this <laughs> choose this your one. fighter choose your weapon <laughs> so yeah uh, it's not like we like it but uh, do you think I like it girls <laughs> do you like to clean the house I want to hear from you maybe that's your favorite things to do it's not like we like it but uh, we have to because exactly. And then later on, you realize that you really need to because as you grow up, your parents will not be around you and you have to take care of yourself. So You should share with your, par with your partner. If you're both working, then you both should cook, you both should clean, you both should take care, should take care of the kids. Of course. It should be shared. It should be shared. Yeah. It's not like... Uh, I'm gonna do it all alone. Yeah. But if you want to do it alone... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah. So... Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's real. Yeah. So... That's all for today. <laughs> Thank I you. I guess I done with my stereotypes. This the stereotype. <laughs> yeah. And um, guys, we've noticed that you're asking a lot for... Same question. How did we met? Right? 
right? Yeah. yeah. And this is, I think, it should be one big story, the full video with this topic, with the details. Mm -hmm. And we want to make it special. So it's like gonna be a little challenge for us and for you. We're gonna make this video once we reach 10,000 subscribers on our channel. Yes, and you will see, and you'll be surprised how long we've been together and how we, we met. And uh, there are some revelations that you will know once we made this video. So, what do you say to them? I hope it's gonna be next week. <laughs> It depends so how. Fast. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from these amazing people. They are subscribing so fast and supporting us. Uh, thank, thank you so you for much your support, for it. Guys. Also, with this heart and this heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.